So how would one choose if they were to decide to say yes or to travel into the past? How would that be possible? Well, we have to <clears throat> understand. Since we've got this laser, right? My big finger is my laser. And the laser is resting on a part of the CD. Right? If I wanted to go back in time, I have to take this same exact same laser and go back to the point that I want to play or to the space that I want to read meaning I'm going back in time and I will play it over again now this kind of like will confuse scientists because most people when they look at going back in time what are they looking at they're looking at changing the future or changing the present as some would call it but if you go back in time <coughs> and you go back onto the same timeline and you decide to make a different choice right? aren't you basically swapping one CD one CD for another Aren't you swapping one CD for another? So now you've got another CD and now you're playing another reel. But one second. If you are playing this CD because you have changed your choice, aren't you still on the same timeline? Yes, you are. You are on the same exact timeline. But the only difference is that what you have changed is your choice. But by you going back in time and saying, oh yes, I am going back in time to travel back in time. What it's going to happen is that you're going to play exactly the same choices, the same ideas. And come to the same conclusion as if you had never gone back in time. Right? Because you should understand that consciousness wants to experience that experience. It's going to. Exp consciousness is trying to be, understand, experience everything. And when I mean everything, I mean everything and anything in its field. So, moving back in time doesn't really change um, much unless you change choice and when you change choice you're still not moving along the same pathway with one the same consciousness the same needle or the same laser and two you're not moving along the same pathway with the same um, with the same uh, uh, space you're on completely different space now when you have changed your laser which is your consciousness and you have changed your space, which is the energy, doesn't that mean you are already now in another dimension? Doesn't that mean you're in another universe? Doesn't that mean you're in a parallel universe? Because you are having a completely different experience, simultaneously to the other experience that you had before. So, if that is the case, then aren't we, if we are going to attempt to go back in time, aren't we just basically, um, basically uh, skipping uh, uh, what I'll call energy potentialities? So we're just entering into a new energy potential. Now, that is just uh, food for thought right there. But when I go, now I have to go back because I missed the part. When I go back and I look at uh, things like people who are attempting to time travel. Now, don't forget, I said that we came from a big bang. Everything is exploding, right? We're moving at the speed of light. 
everything moving, galaxies, planets, and all ATC, we're all moving at the speed of light. So wouldn't it be make more sense to take that needle or that consciousness from the present into the past, which means if we, if we can imagine, and I've, I'll use this remote control as a good explanation, imagine this is uh, the consciousness, and it's gone along this plane, right? And wouldn't it make sense, instead of you saying, oh, I'm going to move all this back here, doesn't it make sense to say, why don't I just move the needle of consciousness back there to where this energy footprint was? Uh, that would make more sense so that you can replay this event over rather than actually trying to move the matter. Can you relate? Because by moving matter, you are not moving time. You're really just moving space. It is the consciousness that has to travel. It is not the energy that has to travel. So that is what um, I, 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 when I look at time travel. So as much as uh, theoretical physicists are, are looking at uh, uh, um, the effects of gravitational pull or light and ETC, um, I give a lot of respect to um, to Ronald Mallet on his um, uh, his uh, uh, proposal about having laser beams um, trap uh, light and um, par like um, what is called past past light being trapped in the present using lasers of high beams and all that stuff, but even in that specific event of you trapping light the whole universe has moved you can't realize what I'm saying you are trying to trap something on a beam that's already moving which makes that trapping of light impossible because it's moving the only thing that can make a jump into the past 